Hi guys, welcome to Laravel Docker series and in this episode I am going to show you how to install phpMyAdmin in Laravel Docker container. So phpMyAdmin is the very popular tools for uh, like uh, view the tables, view the database, view the data for MySQL database. So in my previous video I already show you how to connect with MySQL and also you can set up the different environment for production and for local. So let me go to my project so let me go on my VS Code editor and you can see that there is a project and you can see that this is the docker file okay and there is a docker compose file where we have defined the environments variable you can see over here and you can see that database name and host and all the things and here we have defined the separate image for database and we use the mysql database over here okay so same way we are going to set up for php my admin so we can easily view and see the php my admin and view the database so let me go here and create new image over here and that's called php my admin like this okay then you need to add image okay and what you have to do the image how can i get the image so php my admin slash php my admin colon latest so this is the image where we are going to download the software for php my admin and then i'm going to just add container underscore name and then container name i'm going to just say laravel php my admin like this okay and restart i will just say it always like this okay and then you can see that we have to define the ports like what we did for db so just i will say ports okay and ports will be you can see that our database is running on 3307 but same way i can define 80 colon 80 like this so that way we can access it and then i'm going to set up the environment variable so just copy that and paste it over here okay and here we need to define the environment variable mysql using the root and root password and all but same way we need to define for php my admin so just i will say pma underscore host and this host we need to define from here so we, we are using the db host okay like this and then i will just call pma underscore user and which is the user so i will define the user is root not just user and then pma underscore password and that will be also root okay and then we need to define the platform because i'm going to use the like uh, macbook so that's why and in this image we are going to cover in linux so that way here i will just add platform okay like this and just linux slash amd 64 like this okay and then we need to add one more uh, over here field and that's called depends on depends on okay like this and here we need to add db because you know basically php my admin will be read our database image okay so you can see that this is very simple and basic configuration of php my admin just save it and now let me go to my terminal and let's generate the docker image so just let me go to my terminal and just docker compose oh, dash t dash dash build hit enter and you can see that there is unable to create image because i need to go to the docker and just enable docker in my macbook now just open my docker desktop and just again same command i'm going to run it and you can see that now it's going to generate the image so let's wait a moment to generate an image and you can see that our container is generated now let me go to the browser and just let me go and let's check our project is up and running yeah that's work working but let me go and you can see over here in my vs code editor we have defined 80 81 that is the port for php my admin just just go here and i will type 8080 hit enter and you can see that php my admin okay i already tried and login so that's why it's already logged in and you can see that there is a laravel database that automatically read over here and by default this all mysql database over here now let's run the migration because you can see that there is no tables in that database so let me go here and let me clear this 
and I'm going to run docker compose sorry not compose execute okay this it and laravel okay our image name php my admin web1 php artisan migrate hit enter and it is asking for in production so i will say yes and migration runs successfully now let me go back to the browser and just hit refresh you can see that all the tables display properly over here okay now let me go back to the application click on register let me use the fact filler create an account and you can see that we have registered one user let's double check let me go here and click on users and you can see that there is one user logged in successfully so that means this is very simple and basic example of how to install php might mean in your docker container so you can access your database easily all the tables all the data in production as well if you want so if you like this video then share with your friends and don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more videos see you in the next video guys